Hey, welcome back coaches, athletes, and sports fans. Uh, we're continuing our offensive series on how to attack different gaps. Again, we can run these out of different formations. We can run these out of different systems. Um, we've covered A gap in the last episode. Uh, so today we're going B gap plays. Uh, my favorite play for the B gap, really the only play, uh, you know, I, I, I've had in my playbook for a long time for you know, the decade plus I've been coaching football is what I call blast. And it's blast because it's a B gap play. Um, and I've run it, uh, you know, out of the I formation typically. So, you know, what I would call I 34 blast. So against a standard, uh, the four fronts, we have the nose here. We got our tackle, this B gap there ends. Uh, I've got the mic backer, uh, we've got the will, the corner here and here. Uh, Sam strong and free okay so a standard 4-3 defense uh, that's going to be a weak side play okay because uh, we got a got a guy right here in our B gap on strong side if he plays more head up to shading you know if, if he was more of a, a two nose kind of look and he's more on the head up to inside my guard I could run it strong side uh, but this is typically a weak side play because we've got more guys over here than we can really block. Over here, we're pretty even. Okay, so how we're how we're gonna run this um, right now is uh, pretty simple. Our guard is gonna have to take him, and in the eye, we're pretty solid. This gives us an extra backer. He's gonna go here. Our center is gonna have to get up and wall him. We're gonna probably double right here and double tackle, defensive tackle to this. Usually it's gonna be the guard climbing over and getting that. I'm gonna fan here and just run these guys off. Stock here and since it is uh, weak side, now we just have the will. So it's almost kinda of like the ISO, but now we're going B gap on him. We really want this to hit and get outside uh, kind of make it a foot race with the free safety and so he's just here and then I always try to boot the quarterback this way to kind of at least freeze these two guys to slow down their pursuit so my favorite play B gap I 34 blast uh, we're going to draw it up here in a couple different uh, situations as well okay sticking with our B gap plays here still running blast but now instead of out of the I we're going to run this with split backs. Uh, I used to call this pro set um, just because we had two backs look more like a pro series. Our wing is still here, our tight ends here, so we're still going weak. So really up front, nothing really changes. We're walling there. We're going to double this guy, climb over the top. Once he gets control, fan, run him off. Now the only difference is the coaching point here, you know, when he's in the eye, He's kind of just straight and the quarterback's got to get there. Well, now he's got to get to an angle to get the ball without getting shallow. So this guy leads, boom, still there. So again, this would be still a 34 blast to me because my three back, my two back, if I'm going split backs, even numbers on my right, odd numbers on my left. So the coaching point here is this guy's got to kind of, uh, sometimes I'd have, uh, depending on the back, he might do a jump step, kind of a sh side shuffle and then get upfield, or I might turn him and have the quarterback get deep. Again, quarterback's gonna open deep and uh, get that ball to him. So still kind of same flavor from the eye, but from a split back, um, still running blast, still exposing that B gap. And again, it's weak side play, because in a traditional uh, four to three, we're probably gonna see a tackle in this B gap on strong side. So it's more of a weak gap play. I used to love running this play on what I call my alert package. So we had a rhino call for the right, loco to the left, and we'd set up and just run it on the ball. Uh, you know, I love it if we had a nice first down play and it's second and two, um, you know, second and short, third and short, uh, we would just yell alert. And then we had rhino, loco, and then that just told the guys where, which way to line up, which way to run the play. Great way to change tempo as well. So still sticking with the blast. Uh, we're going to draw it up another couple ways here. All right, still going B gap here, still running blast. Now we're kind of out more of a under center, traditional wing T look. Um, most teams, it's gonna be our two back. This might be a three or an A or a B, depending on how you number guys, um, call those guys. Um, again, strength is to the right, kind of flipped it from the last uh, way we drew it up with the split backs in the eye. 
So we got a strong right, so we're gonna have to run this to our left. So this, uh, you know, if this is your two back, this is gonna be a 23 blast before we were running 34 over here. So now we're coming over here. Um, so we're gonna probably, uh, from here, we're gonna kinda go here. Center's got an easier angle now on this A gap. Uh, we're not as worried about this tackle on this side, so he's probably just gonna go straight up uh, in here and run this uh, wing kind of off to occupy a couple guys. And then we're just gonna lead, right? Fan, stock, and then now we're just gonna come here. He's gonna come over and up, hand off, and then boom, here we are, B gap, weak side. So 23 blast out of kind of traditional wing T with our fullback uh, behind our running back off. He's gonna lead. Personnel wise, you can flip if this is the better blocker. Uh, you know, if the guy normally lines up at your two or your F, if he's the better blocker, you might flip him and put him there and put your better runner here. Um, if you're if you got equal personnel, go ahead and just keep him here and let him run the ball and let him lead block. And so it's just kind of a straight, you know, he's really lined up behind that guard, so a slight angle to the wheel back here. Uh, the center's block is key, guard blocking down on the nose. Again, we're just attacking gaps, um, B gap play today. All right, we got one last version here of our blast. So again, we're attacking uh, gaps this week. Um, offensive series, uh, we're on B gap. So gonna look more like a traditional gun T, shotgun wing T look. And we're gonna run what I like to call Q blast. So again, now we're at single back, right? Offset with our quarterback. Um, put our backers in here. So with this, our will's gonna probably get pulled out because we have our slot. And so our mic's probably gonna be more in this area. And our Sam's gonna be more in this area because he's gotta kinda cover two gaps now. We're spreading them out with the gun T look. And then we're gonna run Q blast. Okay, so we're probably gonna go uh, fan here, run at him, run him, run here, boom, boom. Guard's gonna wall off the sand. We're probably gonna kinda not double, but maybe give a quick chip, just kind of a boom to help our center seal here. And then guard's gotta get up here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lead with our, uh, with our back. And we could even call it, if this nose is playing strong A, we can just stay here and we're going to lead and then, you know, shotgun snap and then we're just going to run that blast with our quarterback and go Q blast and run that B gap play weak side. Again, we're trying to just spread them out, get that backer out of the way who's been sitting over here all day. And uh, by taking a, that second split back or that full back out of the backfield, put him out here at the slot, lead with our back and run Q blast with the quarterback. Now I'll take one-on-one -on -one free safety to, to quarterback every day. If I get six yards on blast, I'm pretty happy. So once again, coaches, thank you. We're attacking the gaps this week, talking offense. Coach Michael Fields on Instagram, Michael K. Fields on Twitter, Coach Michael Fields at gmail.com. Hope you, hope you like the videos. I appreciate you watching. And please uh, like, subscribe to the channel, uh, getting this thing off the ground in our second week here and uh, talking offense. So uh, we'll be getting to some other sports and some other uh, aspects soon. So uh, let me know what you want by commenting, emailing me, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I really appreciate it, coaches, athletes, and fans alike on uh, just talking sports, talking football right now. Thank you.